Jason Hutchinson was born on September 27th in Brooklyn, New York. He was a round baby who soon grew into a wiry child. By age six, he was addicted to sugar and showing signs of sociopathic tendencies. A toothache led him to discover the wonder of painkillers. By high school, he became the local drug dealer until he went off the deep end and joined a lounge act out of Vegas. They say I have the problem. They're the ones with the problem. They're the ones. I'll start off sneaky. A few drinks. Next thing you know, you're hanging over a fence with your pants around your ankles. They're degenerates! I mean, if he would only listen to himself, you know? I mean... He doesn't even realize how much his life has changed. I mean, this guy, he is not the same person who I was dating. I mean, he certainly doesn't last the way he used to, I'll tell you that. Do you know how much I'm losing because of people like him? How can I run a business with irresponsible people like Jason Hutchinson in this world? The man's a traitor. He has betrayed all of me and all of his friends with his poor life choices. I can no longer depend on him as my friend. Jason will never be my mate if this keeps up. He should be forced to empty the captain's piss bucket for his treachery. What? Is my mouth moving? Mr. Hutchinson should not engage in such risk-prone behavior. It has physical consequences and ramifications on his social relationships as well. I hope we can get through to him today. Jason runs the risk of doing serious harm to himself if he continues on this track. The body simply cannot metabolize these drastic changes in drug consumption. Oh. Hey, wait! Does he even know we're going through with this? He's gonna be pissed when he finds out. Fuck him. We gotta do something about this. This ain't no good. This isn't a good sign. No. Do you know why he said he'd be late? He's at the gym now! Oh, oh man. Please. That Ooh. sure is quite an armada of goodies, that is. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is up with that pirate ship? I don't know. I'll be fucked if I'm going to say anything directly to Jason after the way he's treated us. I didn't even want to go through with this thing in the first place. Let's let cooler heads prevail, gentlemen, shall we? This is about Jason. Exactly. The point of this meeting is to show Jason how his choices affect others. Poor Jimmy. He has trouble confronting people, so I told him he could use a bit of a prop to express himself. This is indeed a delicate affair, and it requires a perfect balance. Some people just don't have the stomach for it. Are you sure you guys are professionals? Yes, and as a professional, I think we should catch a little bit of a buzz before Jason gets here. Things always run a little smoother that way. It's getting so you, you can't depend on him no more. Yo ho ho in a bottle of rum. Better get here soon for the drugs are done. No. Cha cha cha. Hey, you you
What's going on here? What are you guys doing here? This is an outer invention. A what? Well, not exactly. Technically, an outer invention is to help gay men come out of the closet. Maybe it's more like a inside outer invention. And what is that supposed to be? You just ain't partying hard enough, me hearty. And why are you talking to a pirate? Now, now, never mind the pirate. It's time you face some serious issues regarding your drug problem. Jason, whatever you call it, we're worried about you. Can't we just talk about this? You got so much party left in you, man. Right yo! You can't give up now, mate. Get your nose around the line of the Admiral White. And would you please stop talking through that pirate? Arrgh. Jason, you don't understand the social ramifications of your drug issues. Poor drug-addled Jimmy. He's nothing without you as a party pal. Come on, Jason. What's a little line gonna hurt? Remember how long you used to last on this? Jason, you don't realize how much your choices affect the people who care about you. Do you know how much my revenues have dropped since you laid off the drugs? And who the fuck is that guy? It's a bleeding stowaway! I just yeah. heard you were having a party that I came around. Just what the hell are you doing in here anyway? Do you have any more of that acid? You can't stay aboard this ship, matey. Get him the hell out of here before he takes any more of our drugs. That's great. Let a perfect stranger into my house. He's gonna be tripping for the next two weeks. What the fuck? Come on, dude, you're tight. Have a beer. Come on, relax. Yeah, one beer can't hurt. You used to drink them by the 12 pack back in the days. All right, one. Then you asshole's gonna clean the fuck out of here. Aye, aye, Captain Bly. It sure would be good to have my old party pal back. If Jason hadn't taken that beer, I would have had him keel hold. No more of this limp dick shit for good old Mary. Soon he will be my number one customer again. A little bit of marijuana goes a long way. That one beer will be sufficient to cause a physiological and biophysical reaction in his body that will pave the way for harder drugs. These fucking assholes. They think if I have one beer, I'm gonna fall back into that trap. I'm just having it to get rid of their asses. Fucking jerk offs.
going on here? What'd you put in my beer? It feels like there's acid in here. It's for your own good, matey. Come on, it's not like you haven't tripped before. Are oh, you assholes? Dude, come on, I only put two tabs in that beer. Remember all the drugs we used to do following the dead? That was way more shit. It has been psychologically proven that fighting an acid trip is simply a no-win situation. Let me check your vital signs. Get that oh! I can't take this shit anymore, you, you fucking... Should we go after him? Shit, yeah, there's a hell of a lot of drugs over here. <laughs> Wanna do some H A The fuck, dude? You've been in here over an hour. Get up. Well, where's the pirate at? What pirate? What are you talking about? Your guy. Get, 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 come here. Yeah. Captain Bly. Oh. Can you see my mouth move? 